Welcome back to Deer Valley Homestead. If you haven't been here before, my name's Pandy, and this week we are talking about our new rabbit hutch. More specifically, the mistakes that I've made that I can see already, and some upgrades that we're going to do today, and a few things to fix some of the mistakes that we made. The first upgrade that we're going to do today is we're going to get rid of these water bottles, and we are going to install these nipple drinkers. Basically, you put a bucket on top, attach the hose pipe, and the rabbit, when it pushes on here, gets a little drink of water each time. These bottles are great, but as you can see, they're getting covered in algae, which is just not good enough for our rabbits. Why, do you want to show off? So normally you would put these on the front and they just go on with a little spring and hold themselves in position. I've decided to go a bit differently. I'm gonna put them on the back because I don't want the black pipes all over the front. Simple pipe and on it goes. Boom. The most important thing to remember when you're ordering this stuff is use black pipe. If you use clear pipe, you're gonna end up with the same problem as I have in my water bottles where you're gonna get covered in algae. So the plan here is pretty simple. I'm gonna drill some holes in the back. I'm gonna stick the pipe in. And when I push this in, I'm hoping it's gonna expand enough to hold it in place. I'm gonna give it a test out on another piece of wood first. Okay, so here's the basic idea. Drill a hole in the piece of wood. Stick your bit of pipe through. Stick your drinking nipple in. And then when you pull that back, it's now firmly wedged in place and your rabbit can do his thing or her thing and get herself a nice drink of water. Johnny has a fluff problem at the moment. Some of his fur got matted in the old accommodation. So we've been working on unmatting it. It's a very, very slow and painstaking process. Rabbit skin is quite sensitive. So Johnny's not quite as friendly as he normally is. He had some on his neck, which is now 95% gone, but he still has just a little bit on his feet. Okay, so all you have to do, is take your nipple in, and when I pull that back through, it's gonna pull it in and hold it tight. Wow, that's in there. Six more of those to do. Are you guys helping or trying to escape, huh? Huh? Helping or escaping? You're not allowed to escape. You're not allowed to escape. Huh? While we're here, we might as well talk about waste. Uh, it's been two weeks since I put these guys in here and I cleaned up once on the first day and then I've left it. So I was curious how much waste would build up. And the answer is that probably 95% of the waste goes down straight through the mesh. There is occasionally a little bit of a buildup. Hey. Especially underneath where the door is. And for that stuff, I just sweep it down. I'm sure there's a better way. I just haven't found it yet. There's no food, guys. You've had your food. You wanna let me in, guys? Let me in. Ah! So for me, I think that's quite manageable. Of course, it would be nice if it all just went straight down. But I also don't want my rabbits on the mesh all of the time. One of the other small mistakes that I made, I cut these boards and I made them fit the space perfectly, but I should have left a little bit of room for expansion. And that's why you can see here, this middle piece has been pushed across slightly as these have got moist and expanded. And it's left this 
slightly saggy in places. It's not too bad, but it's not ideal. Be like, hey, that's my brush. You can't eat that. Hey crackers, we know, we know. So that is all of the rabbit water nipples installed. Now I need to put in the tea pieces, lid the pipe up the top and find a bucket to fit on there. Crackers. You gonna make noise through the whole video? That's actually Mrs. Quack making all the noise. She's got four babies at the moment. And she wants us all to know about it. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna work pretty well. So the funny thing about trying to film anything on a homestead is that the second you turn a camera on, all the animals that don't make that much noise suddenly all want to make as much noise as they possibly can. There we go, that one looks good. This is what I'm going to put these on with, they're just the little tacks for electric cabling. As with anything new, put it on halfway. That way, if you make a mistake, it's easier to take it out again. And you know, we all make mistakes. So that's all installed. I just need to put this in in a bucket up top. Well, unfortunately I didn't have a black box. I'm gonna have to go and buy one. But for now, just to test it, make sure that it's working, I'm gonna use this one. It's just a quick plumbing fitting. That's gonna go on top. That is gonna go in here. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. And hopefully, when that's full of water, there'll be some water to all of these and we'll have water for the rabbits. You wanna try it out for us, Johnny? Okay, well in theory, we should get some water coming out of here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Another mistake. These two doors that open upwards will be much better off when they open sideways. It's just so much easier to have these ones. You can reach inside better, you can do all the things you need to do. And these ones, even when you put a stick in to hold it up for you, ah, it's just annoying. I always end up hitting the stick and I've dropped this on my head more than once. So there is one space here in the back corner. Yeah, you're right in the shot there, buddy. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, that was a good example. He just went to the toilet, or she just went to the toilet, straight down into the bucket. Unfortunately, can you move out the way? Can, oh, you see? Also going to the toilet. So they've learned pretty well to use this corner. However, this corner also includes this little piece here. In this little ledge, is getting a bit dirty and messy. So what I think I'm gonna do is put a piece of wood on a 45 degree just to stop any waste getting right on that end edge. Don't eat the camera, Oreo. That's not food. That's it, move out the way. You too, come on. I'm trying to show everybody your hutch. Hey! That's not food, not food. Oh, chaos, okay. So here in the corner, we have a bit of a buildup of waste material. My plan here is I'm going to clean it off. 
my plan here is I'm going to clean it off and then I'm just going to put this piece of wood in and fix it down so that any waste that does come here just runs straight off into the bins below. The bins below have been doing a really good job of catching all the waste as you can see. So we might as well show you pretty much all of the rabbit waste is going straight down into the bucket and of course that attracts a few flies and whatnot and this is all going to go across to my compost pile. Meanwhile Oreo is breaking an escape. No? No escape? What about you? You gonna try and escape? Okay another small problem that I have is when I made these floorboards I made them the exact size. You can't eat that guys it's not it's not food it's not food not food is that I made them the exact size of the opening and that was a mistake I should have left some space uh, for them to expand we had a day when it was a little bit damper they expanded and as you can see here it has pushed this piece across slightly which has made the netting slightly loose it's not enough of a problem to need to do anything about it it's just something I would keep in mind for next time okay another small problem that I have these slides are working very well however they are catching a little bit every now and then on here and I think that will probably damage it over time my plan is just to install a piece of wood underneath the slide and then I'll just cut a little bit of the slide off on the table saw and we'll end up with wood on wood which will slide much better. I think it was a little bit ambitious to try and use this material to slide on top of. It is working, none of them are broken but I have that feeling that one of them is going to break soon. You still can't eat the camera guys. Another small problem I have, it's a mistake that I made is that this netting here is sagging down a little bit and it's able to do that because I forgot to staple it on on this end here. I don't know why, I don't know how I forgot. So later on today I'm gonna pull it tight, staple it, and that should solve that problem. Now, if you guys would all go down the other end, that would help me greatly. Come, down here. Hey Blackie. Hey -ya. So one more problem that we had, or one more problem that we have, or one more improvement I would make next time is I wouldn't use brown for the roofs. They get incredibly hot in the sun and that's going to radiate the heat down to the rabbits. So I need to come up with some kind of second layer in between, I'm possibly going to put a layer of wood or something like that there just to stop the rabbits getting too hot. So we've split the boys and the girls now. We ended up with four ladies and three boys. And these are the ladies, who just happen to be all the prettiest ones. You wanna jump out? You can try. We have the little rabbit houses or hoop houses, whatever you want to call them. And the little water bottles in there as well. It's just an old ice cream container on a piece of wood with a roofing screw through it. And I just find that it travels really well when I drag it along the floor. It doesn't spill the water too much. One final little mistake that I've noticed is that there is a very slight sag in these two beams. I'm slightly surprised because it's a 10 centimeter beam at the bottom, so they really shouldn't be. At the moment, it's only about a centimeter. Uh, if it gets any worse or the doors start not to fit or something like that, then I'll do something about it. But for now, I'm pretty happy just to leave it as it is. If I do need to do something about it, I'll just put a little post down here and that'll solve the problem. I haven't seen anyone use a water nipple yet. We shall see. That is an update on the problems that we've had so far, the solutions we've put in place, and the water system. That is it from us here for another week at Deer Valley Homestead. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you consider subscribing. See you next week. Can't eat my hand. Can't eat my hand. I know you'll try.
and you can't eat my hand, okay?